Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Sheffield United. In today's episode, we're going to review the fixtures that you've missed since the last time we met and we've got back-to-back -back live comms against Wolves and Southampton. So following on from the defeat against Spurs, this is a horrible screen. They really need to sort this out on the skin. But we ended up beating Brighton away from home 1-0. Luke Freeman in the ninth minute getting the goal. This wasn't a game where we did particularly well, but we managed to get the win. Uh, Brighton definitely had a little bit more possession and more opportunities, but we took the lead quite early on in the ninth minute and managed to come away with the three points. After that was another really tight game, another 1-0 win though. Back-to-back -back wins is absolutely huge for the position we found ourselves in. Luke Freeman once again getting another goal in the 15th minute from the attack and midfield position. We are definitely starting to find our feet defensively with this kind of formation. Um, Attacking-wise, we're not absolutely smashing the goals in, but we haven't really got the quality in terms of players to be able to do that anyway. But to get back-to-back -back wins and six points from two games, that's it's not going to happen often this season, and we've got to enjoy it when it does. And finally, there was a 4-1 heavy defeat against Chelsea. We actually were drawn 1-1 for a, quite a bit of the game. Tammy Abraham put them in front three minutes in. Chris Basham equalised the 66th minute. And I thought maybe we might actually hold on. Dean Henderson was playing fantastic in goal. But then they got three pretty quick goals. And Golo Kanti in the 71st. And Olivier Giroud double in the 72nd and 77th minute. But that leaves the Premier League table looking like this. We currently sit in 16th on 13 points. Two points clear from Norwich in 18th position. Now, we've got Wolves and Southampton today. Wolves, obviously, a pretty good side on FM. I think they were last year as well. Uh, so, we might struggle against them. But Southampton is definitely a game where we've got to be looking at getting the three points. But for the first game, we are at home to Wolves. We will get our team selection and hope for the best from the boys. So, this is how we're going to line up for today's game. Dean Henderson in goal. Basham, Egan and O'Connell in the defence. Baldock and Stevens as our wing-backs with uh, Oliver Norwood and John Fleck in the centre. Luke Freeman in behind Oliver McBurney and Lise Mousset. Now, I have been having some issues with the squad in terms of ever since I've took over. There's been about six players who have all come to me requesting new contracts. And I think it's a lot of it is to do with the fact that Sheffield United in general have a pretty low wage. So I've had to do some fiddling and being able to offer some of these players new deals. But as you can see, they're coming out with a really, really defensive 5-2-2-1 formation. Um, but that's always been Wolves' game, you know, the sit back and then the break on the counter with Pierce. So we'll have to be careful of that. So we kick off today's game. We, we could really do with three points, honestly. I've, I'm really worried that just purely down to the amount, the, the lack of quality in depth, never mind in the first 11. As soon as somebody gets injured... Well, first eleven does really look like a championship side as an early hand. These the graphics looked absolutely terrible here. We're back into it. Long ball over the top four wolves. They go close, hitting the side and netting. Pretty decent first half from us in terms of the match stats. Nothing really in terms of key highlights. But well, I think I would take a point here. Getting another point at home against a really good wolves side is something that would do us just fine. We'll have to wait and see though. 20 minutes to go, not a lot happening in the game. We will look to make some changes. We're going to get Luke Freeman off. We're going to put McBurney back in the attack and midfield role. And we'll get Billy Sharp on up top to partner Lise Mousset. Ender Stevens can come off as well for Martin Ziegler. That's one of the key that's one of the positions where I'm really quite happy with the depth that we've got. Ziegler and Stevens are both good enough to be able to start in our first eleven quite comfortably. Trying to change a few things around here to try and get some attack and things going. When with five minutes to go, we've finally got a highlight balled out on this left hand, right hand side. I mean, why? I didn't even want to say that. Why are you showing me that game? Another highlight, only two minutes to go. Can we get an opportunity? Billy Sharp plays it out at Oliver Norwood, John Fleck. These boys in the centre of midfield have been really quite good for us, holding down um, some quite good midfields with uh, Norwich. They're definitely. Put a lot of players in the centre and then two managed to keep them at beer. John Fleck with a strike from the edge. Rui Patricio was never really going to let that go in the back of the net. And this will probably be the final highlight of the game. It is actually Wolves on the attack with Sai on the left hand side. It's played in. John Egan managed to get rid and there's full time. A game where you probably just look at their match stats and see you probably should be winning that. But with the way Wolves set up pretty defensively. And us not really creating that many opportunities that were clear cut. I will definitely take the point against 7th place Wolves. Um, 
So after that game, we are three points clear of the relegation zone now with Norwich on 11 points and ourselves on 14 in 16th. So we'll take that and I'll see you for the Southampton game. So we're here for the match against Southampton. We are at home, uh, at home. We are away from home in this game. So it will be a little bit more difficult. But the way Southampton are playing this season, they're not playing great. So maybe we can do some damage here. So this is how we're going to line up against Southampton. Dean Henderson, of course, Basham, Egan and O'Connell, our standard defensive three. Then we've got Freeman at right wing back as Baldock is suspended for today's game. I'm actually going to give the start to Ziegler at left wing back this time. Oliver Norwood and John Fleck in the centre. Luke Freeman, Oliver McBurney and Billy Sharp leading the line. Lise Mousset, my assistant manager doesn't favour him. I like him purely down to his pace. And he's got a little bit of potential to grow as well. So the likelihood is that he will make an appearance at some point in this game. Again, another AI manager picking a very, very defensive formation. Four triple two. Two defensive midfielders in Heusberg and Romeo. Uh, Redmond. Well, it's a standard, standard Southampton side. No major changes. Um, I, f I fancy us here. I really do. So we kick off against Southampton. Away from home, three points needed. If we were to win this game, we would be looking very, very comfortable. In the bottom, say, eight or so teams that are fighting against relegation. And 11 minutes in, we do have our first highlight. It looks like Southampton are through in behind. Adams is comp... Oh, what a challenge. I'm not even sure who it was. But our, one of our central defenders has just completely saved us from a, an almost certain goal there. Pick up with another highlight here, long ball over the top by Southampton, once again does our defence and Danny Ings goes for goal but we managed to get the block in and it is a corner for Southampton. Ward Prowse to take it, he plays it in, goes straight over the top of everybody in the box and Ziegler can clear. Finally a highlight, maybe going our way or maybe not, another long ball over the top completely does our defence, we might need to drop our line a little bit I think. So we went over a more standard defensive line rather than the higher line that we were playing. Hopefully that can sort of mitigate some of the um, frailties in our defence with Southampton constantly playing long balls over the top. Half-time, nil-nil, a pretty drab game so far. Southampton definitely having the better of the opportunities, but hopefully this second half can get, get us a few highlights at least to get excited about. And with only 20 minutes to go, we get our first highlight of the second half. Once again, Southampton are in possession on this right-hand side, Valerie. Cuts in, finds Ward Prowse in the centre, who switches the player to Ryan Bertrand on this left-hand side. This player switched again, Ziegler with a decent challenge, but Adams is there in the box. Please be offside. I think it is offside. Hopefully it is. Get get rid of that goal. Che Adams, that's not happening. We're skipping the replay. We don't need to say that. Um, I think we're going to go on a cautious mentality now at this point. We haven't really done much in this game, so maybe playing on the counter a little bit more. Might be able to draw Southampton out of their defensive formation and give us some opportunities. O'Connell switches the play at the right-hand side. Freeman plays it in. Why he's kept that in, I have no idea. Ziegler to John Fleck on the edge. Whew, it goes just wide. 15 minutes to go. Our boys are struggling out there a little bit. We'll get Ender Stevens on for Ziegler. John Fleck can come off for Lundstram in the centre. Um, and I will look to get Lee Smooth set on for Billy Sharp up top. We will demand more from the boys and hope that they can keep themselves a little bit calmer. Body language is definitely something that's changed uh, pretty significantly. In FM20, I've definitely noticed the boys be reacting negatively a lot more just during a random moment in the game. Five minutes to go and Southampton are on the tat again. Cedric on this right-hand side gets a ball in. Uh, decent save by Henderson again. We are definitely relying on Henderson quite a lot right now. But the highlight isn't over. It's got Lise Moussa coming down this left-hand side. Gives the ball away to Cedric and Southampton and Britt again. Ball over the top, Che Adams. He's done us again. And this time we are punished. His sixth goal of the season. We knew it was coming this whole time. Maybe I should have dropped our central defenders even deeper than they already were. But we've definitely been punished here. Cedric with a great ball over the top. Che Adams has got the pace on John Egan and O'Connell and Basham. And we've paid the price. Five minutes to go. We need a, we need a goal to get a point. Oh, we've given the ball away in the midfield once again and Redmond can break now for Southampton. Goes for goal. Great strike, but uh, can't get it on target. And there's full time. Southampton 1, Sheffield United 0. That is disappointing. I was hoping to get at least one win out of them two games. Get three points, but only one point for us. And that drags us straight back into the relegation battle. Only one point above Southampton now in 18th, while we lie in 17th position 
on 14 points. Looking forward to the next episode. It will be a January transfer window special. We need to do some special business if we are to survive in the Premier League this season. So I'll be playing through all the games. There'll be no live comms. It will just be updates as we go through everything. In terms of our transfer budget, we are now down to £9.5 million with 100k available in the wages. I have had to play about with it quite a little bit to be able to get people on new deals and stuff like that. We have quite a big squad, so I will be looking to move some of these boys on to hopefully free up some more wages and transfer budget. But with only £9 million, we're not going to be able to do an awful lot of business unless we can move a lot of players on. In terms of key positions where I really want to improve, I would love to sign a major centre-back and a major striker. Chances are you, know, you can probably only do one or the other with the amount of money that we've got, but um, we'll do our best. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.